amigos! I am here to do another Helpings Hand Thrift Haul and this is for the 25 cent bin. So everything in this haul is 25 cents. Little explanation, I have been MIA for the past week because I just got back from California. So yeah. And then another thing is it is No Makeup Thursday. So it's been a while. If you guys are new to my channel, I do, I did used to do a lot of videos without any makeup just to you know give my face a break and then also show that youtubers don't have to get done up in order to do a video so yeah i'll just go ahead and hash that blah, blah, blah. i'll go ahead and hashtag no makeup thursday i have a big old bag here it's huge so uh let's just get started okay the first thing that i have is something i'm super excited about this is the lauren by ralph lauren in the size six and it is khakis there is that and it looks like it is capri it has a little edge or a cuff at the bottom there and i like how this fits on me because it is a high-waisted type of style on me and i like the accent here it has gold buttons there and also on the back Next thing that I have is by The Limited. It is a crew fit in the size I have no clue. There is that. Again, it is another Capri. The only difference is the bottom edge is actually drawstring and the back pockets have zippers on them. And then, yeah, it's just another Capri. is another capri so this is by relax tommy tommy bahama aubrey fit in a size six there is that and you guys this is actually really really comfortable it's a little bit bigger on me but super duper comfortable and free flowing it is a capri type of style as well that I have is Circo in a size 14 so this is in kids and this, these are pants and they fit me but I feel like you know the butt area is a little bit small because again this is kids size jeans it is like almost like a cargo type of style so there is one side and then the other side has this little little thing on it so that I have is by Lee. It's a relaxed straight leg at the waist in a size 4 petite and it is a lighter khaki. I don't know if this is, I want to say it's beige but I could be wrong. It's just an off-white pants but uh, it could also be, it's a capri I think, but it could also be pants for me because I am pretty short. So. forgot to say that my lighting is a little different because I put my ring light a little bit further just because I feel like I wanted to try something different as far as my lighting is concerned because I feel like it's super harsh on me but I, I don't know I, I'm just experimenting so bear with me. The next thing that I have is by Kenneth Cole New York in a size 8 petite. Here's that. It is jeans and I want to say it is like a Actually, it looks like they took out the bottom there or I don't know if that's the style and then also the one thing that I'm like uh, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and sell it is that the back pockets are actually not there I don't know if you're familiar with this style but I remember back in middle school I used to wear a lot of pants like that just because it was the style you know Next thing I have is by Joe B, which is by Joe Ben Bassett, and this is in a size small. It is a beautiful skirt, chevron style black and white stripe going down, and you guys, it's always a plus when skirts and dresses have pockets, so that's a plus. Next thing that I have is sorry I keep looking up here because I want to see if I'm running out of memory next thing that I have is by styling co petite in the size 6 petite and it's another capri style pant has um, buttons on the bottom edge of the capri edge and then also the double breasted type of style with the buttons in the front have is by Familiar Fit. 
below waist and this is by J. Jill in a size 12 so it's a little bit bigger on me yeah it's a little bit bigger on me you'll see in the try on but the way that this uh, material is is that it's very like I don't know what that reminds me it's a harder material it's not like khaki a little bit more rough on there so yeah it has little pockets on the sides there almost like cargo ish but not quite have is by Christopher Banks in a size 4 and it is a I want to say it's like a mom mom cut boot cut jean I could be wrong but it's a little bit bigger on me but you know what is it next thing that I have is by Simply Vera by Vera Wang it's a straight leg in a size 8 there is that. And I actually like the way that this is styled. It's almost like a boyfriend type of jean, so I can go ahead and destroy it and make it into a really nice type of staple in my wardrobe. Uh, the one thing that I am like was like iffy about was the back. It has buttons. I'm not a real big fan of buttons on the back. I like, you know me, the more simple the back is, the better. This is by Abercrombie, and this is in a size 16 slim. There is no try-on on this because I think it's a 16 slim in girls, and your girl can't fit it. My thighs, my thighs are just not, like, there. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it is a corduroy type of material. It is um, not quite beige. It's like a tan beige material or color, sorry, and it has a big flare-out at the bottom, so it is a bell bottom is what I like to put it. There are no pockets on the back, so again, it's like that style that I was talking about. But yeah, again, no try on for this. So I found this purse in there. It is by Epitome, and it is this really pretty, I want to say it's maroon, it's not burgundy, but it's a maroon type of bag. It's a cross crossover, and the reason I liked it was because it looked really worn. It's that really worn uh, faux leather feel to it and I really like that so can never have too many purses. Alrighty, the next thing that I have, hopefully it's still recording, okay. Oh my god, my hair is disgusting. Where is it? Where is it? Okay, the next thing that I have is by Design History in a size medium. It is this teal top and I just like the way it drapes on my body. It has pockets on both sides of the front, has buttons going all the way down. It is a deep v-neck for me, and then um, the edges on the sleeve is cuffed or edged out or, yeah, I think it's cuffed is the term I'm looking for, so. The next top that I have has no tag. Yeah, no tag, but it is a lace top. There is that. It is a high-low, and it is this pretty dark blue, which I do not have this color in my collection yet, so I was super happy to find that. So that's great for layering pieces. The next thing that I have is quite bright. This is by Energy in a size medium. And you guys, it is... This is going to make my camera all, camera all wonky, but... There is the highlighter type of shirt. It is a high-low, so it's longer on the back. has a collar, and honestly, this would look really... You can really dress this down when you go to the office, to be honest. I can do a video on how to style this, but yeah. Alrighty, the next thing that I have is by Old Navy and the size extra large and it is just this beautiful dress shirt there's that it is diagonal going down towards the center which is buttoned up and I have this rolled up for the try on but yeah that works great <sighs> all right I had to cut off or it cut me off because I had no memory um hopefully this is okay and the difference isn't like crazy different but anyways let me go ahead and get back to what I was saying all right the next thing that I have is quite interesting this is by Maurice's in a size medium and it is a gray 
sleeveless top there has ruching on the front as well as ruching on the side which makes it so that it fits my body really well you'll go ahead and see that on the try on and the top portion has here a almost like a faux leather type of style not sure how I feel about that but honestly you can style anything and make it so that it looks good um, yeah, that's my mantra <laughs> even if it doesn't look good work it so that Work it so that everyone else thinks it looks good. You know what I'm saying? The next thing that I have is by BDG in a size extra small. That is this light purple cardigan, a deep v-neck long sleeve. And yeah, you can never have more than enough cardigans because cardigans are essential for layering. And winter is here or coming, fall is here and layering is bay. been so long since I've done this haul so hold on I will be right back I'm going to give this account times 25 cents to see what my total was Alrighty, I can't seem to find my receipt, but ultimately I have 19 pieces here, so I just multiply that by 25 cents, which is about $4.75, give or take. So about $5 for 19 items, so um, and not too bad at all. Again, I will go ahead and link Helping Hands down below in case you guys want to check them out if you live in the Washington State area. Alright, well I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys did, go and give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos by me, click that red subscribe button. It would totally make my day and I will see you guys later. Bye!